Here is my chicken coop. Just wanted to show you where I put the food in this three inch PVC. It goes down into this little trough on the inside. Uh, same thing for water. I'll show you that setup in a minute. But here is, open this door. You can see the nesting boxes that I put in here and I just put in some curtains. Those are fake eggs to try to encourage them to lay in the right place. Um, this whole this whole nesting box unit can come out and I can slide that out to clean it. I have this thick marine rubber where I could slide the whole thing out if need be uh, and hose it out. I probably only hose it out once a year. See the kids did handprints. There's a sliding door that I put that goes around here to the outside um, to that rope up there. So this is the back where I collect the eggs. If I back up and show you around here, there's some cheap reclaimed windows I got from somewhere that I put on both sides. And then I tin roofed it. You can hear Martha over there. She's very curious. Um, and here is the entire coop. Very simple design. But I put, um, now the water. The water system just goes down to a five gallon bucket. Five gallon bucket that I have here. And I put those little chicken water nipples on the bottom. Just three of them the side. The idea is that I could pull that top off and clean it out whenever I want. Which I haven't yet. But, um, but can if I need to. I also plan on putting a coiled submersible water heater in there because I'm in Cleveland and it gets uh, it gets cold, very cold in the winters. Now I needed a temporary coop and I was in a pinch. So I reclaimed the girl's little house because the couple were hurting each other. <laughs> and I put chicken wire, I put chicken wire on the girl's house because they're older and never played it in anyway. So now this is a, um, a designer chicken hut for uh, some of the more ornamental birds that aren't as that can't defend themselves as well. Um, that's what I got going on. Got two silkies, got a couple buff orpingtons. I think that's a Millie Fleur. I'm not sure. Um, speckled Sussex, very friendly. And for egg production, she adopted some um, day old. Of course, they're not day old now. Rhode Island Reds. Uh, which they said were all hens, but I think, I think we got a roux right here. Are you a roux? Not sure. Thanks for watching.